Hello guys, this is also Gaming Chillin here. So I had to try to re-record this video a whole bunch of fucking times because I was interrupted. But one of my subscribers asked me um what kind of dream team, like just make a video about the dream team that you would have. And this is the dream team that I have right here. So if you're wondering why Whis isn't on here, Whis is the strongest fighter in the game. So he had to be kind of excluded from the dream team because he could wipe out everybody on any dream team that you can make. Like literally any dream team that you can make he could basically wipe them out all of them either one shot them or near one shot them. so it doesn't even matter so i'm going to be explaining why i have each person on the dream team and before i get right into it um merge of masu can be replaced by a lot of different you know fighters but i only have them on this dream team just because you know i want to make him feel special and i mean even though he's kind of disappointing he he still he still like by if if you could obtain him like and take him to the elite four and the champion he could be a good you know fighter but even so I still wouldn't like you know use him when I'm facing off against somebody like a friend I would not do it I would not put him on my team because he's not guaranteed to do shit so let me kind of explain why I have each person on my team so let's start off with Gogeta as I already told you a billion times. I got him fair and square to level 100. This nigga is the GOAT. You already know. Um, he, To me, he is the second best fighter in the entire game. And Lord Beers is the third. But, I mean, look at his HP and his attack power. As well as his speed and his defense. So, he can not only can he tank attacks. He has the speed to back it up. And he can do a whole bunch of damage on top of that. And he has basically... I think, I don't know if Whis has more HP or him. I, for, I actually forgot. I think Whis has just a little bit more HP than Gogeta does. So he has a whole bunch of HP. Yeah, basically everything is on point. He can tank. He can attack. He has fast ass speed. And he has HP. He's like the fucking trump card. Or the cheat card as I would like to call it. I have a different type of person I like to call the trump card. Well, cheat card I mean. So he's the trump card, but there's another one that I call the cheat card, and I'll show you that later on in the video. But basically, he's one of those people where his moves aren't going to fail. Like Big Bang Kamehameha, he has the damage to back it up, as well as Blaze. And if you put the Patara earrings on him, it just makes him even more stronger. So if, th if that fails, you have the Stardust. And you could just use Power Burst to boost up this move, this move, and this move. Well, no, that's not a special attack, but still. Usually you don't use Dragon Rush, but if you got to, you got to. But Power Burst boosts your special attack and special defense, so it boosts both of these moves. And especially Big Bang Kamehameha, considering that it has... <gasps> Sorry about that. Considering that it has already 250 power, he has high-ass special attack and attack, and he has Blaze on top of the Patar earrings, and he's level 100. So that just kind of proves my point right there. So, let me go to Black next. So, this one guy commented a month ago on one of my other videos that, like, I'm assuming he was talking about base Black and not Super Saiyan Rose Black. That, um, if you add up all his skills, like, he's considerably, like, God Goku is a considerable amount stronger than him. Um, so, in one of my other videos that I was talking about, I was saying that he was stronger than him. But what I meant by, like, base attack power, that's what I meant by like base attack power and special attack. If I upgrade him to level 63, um, I'm pretty sure his special attack will be higher. See, the thing about Black is, in you know, Goku, if you take away God Fist from Goku um, and you only use the God Kamehameha without Power Burst, it's not even a guarantee that you would be able to defeat everybody because I've used God Kamehameha on several occasions and it hasn't done its job, but I've used it on other occasions and it has done its job. So... Using the Black Kamehameha could basically, and, and the Black Ball as well, could destroy almost anybody. And that's, I'm not even lying to you. When I when I first um used like normal Black to fight off against God Goku and um Super Saiyan Blue Goku, it one shot at the God Goku like the Black Kamehameha. But when I used it against the God Goku, it left like 30% of his HP left. So that's what I'm saying. Black is a lot more useful, even though I think that his ability should have been different. Just from the simple fact that he doesn't have any blaze moves. And he has God Slicer. But to me, God Slicer is a useless move unless you get a critical hit ratio. Because if you get that critical hit ratio, I'm telling you, it's it's a boss move. But if you don't have it, then you can't do anything. And he has Hyper Mode, which will boost the Black Kamehameha. 
And I guess you could call Black Ball like a special special attack, but you know, it is what it is. So I don't really need to explain God Goku. I mean, he is a fighting and fire type. He has a decent amount of HP. Although I felt like his speed could have been higher, but you know, I think if he if if in the future he adds like um Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Kane, which I, I did make a video about like people that I think he should add in, but I never uploaded it. I had to delete it and I was gonna remake it later. I felt like if if he does put him in the game, then that's why, you know, he, he should boost his speed way higher than the God Goku's. And if I if, and, uh, sorry I'm fucking you know messing up. It's early in the morning, but I feel like if he did put like Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken in the game, he should be way, way faster than God Goku. Like I feel like at this level, his speed should be like two hundred, like dead ass. And I feel like he should be a whole nother character, and he shouldn't be an evolution from God Goku at all. So um, I don't really need to explain God Goku because he got the Blaze ability, and you know I've already I've already explained him. So. Um, Vegito. So the thing about Vegito is, even before he got Super Saiyan Blue, he was already the GOAT. I mean, he wasn't the most powerfulest, but he could get you through the championship. I'm telling you. Um, I don't know about now because I'm assuming he's, he didn't change the league a few times. Like, he would added in Golden Ozaru, Super Saiyan Bardock, and he'd have made them higher level. So I don't know if a Super Saiyan Vegito would help you as much as he did back then, but I think he should help you just as much. Um... He has Power Burst, Big Bang Kamehameha, Spirit Sword, as well as Kamehameha. And I felt like they should have made like Spirit Sword like his own version of God Slicer. I felt like the power should have been like what? Um like 110 or 130 or something like that with a critical hit ratio. Because and I also felt like it should have been like a psychic type move because all of his moves consist of fire, which I think is not all that great. Just saying. And his stats are, you know, very, very great. And he has guts. So I don't really need to explain Vegito. For those of you who, who've been playing the game for a while, you should know how useful Vegito was back then and how useful he definitely is now, considering that he can evolve into Super Saiyan Blue. So Lord Beerus, to me, is the third strongest fighter in this entire game. He's a dark type. His stats are phenomenal. Like, like his the amount of power he can, you know, output... So his HP is 270. So here's the thing about it. So if you see his stats and like his defense, you would think, oh, well, I don't really have nothing to worry about. But if you check his ability, he lowers the attack. So think about this. Let's say if you normally would take half of his HP, well, now he done lowered your attack so you don't do as much as you're supposed to. So I think it kind of brings it like brings the attack down to like his level of defense in a way. If you see what I'm saying? So like even though his defense isn't the greatest, he can lower the opponent's attack to make up for that. So, the reason why I said that he can basically do a lot of damage, he, is, he has the strongest move in the game, which does two, has 255 power and is a fire-type move. So, it's Supernova, and he has full power as well. Like, if you use full power with Supernova, you're done. I don't care who you is. I think he can, I think he can do the same thing for um Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta 2, like one-shot him with the Supernova. But still, you would have to use full power to do that, but... He can output a lot of fucking damage when you, like, really dead ass. He can output a lot of damage, and it's ridiculous. And he has God Fist. So, if Supernova somehow fails, which it won't, he could just use God Fist. I've never used Shield, but I, I, that's like another move that you can use to increase his defense as well. Mainly special defense. But he has to, like, intimidate, so it shouldn't. you shouldn't really have no need to use it. Just saying. Like I said earlier in the video, Merge Masu can be replaced. See, the thing about Merge of Masu is I felt like what could have made him better was his moveset. When he learns lightning at level 70 and it only does 230 power, it's already an electric type move. So it's in, like considering all the fighters in this game and their types, it's not going to do a lot of damage at all. Guaranteed. Um, I've used him on multiple occasions and the lightning has not done as much damage as I thought it would. So I felt like he should have made the power 250 instead of 230 so maybe he can do a little bit more damage just saying and to me the most powerful move is god blades which i feel like it should have been 200 and this ability reduction shit isn't really useful and i felt like he should have been like a speedy tank and have more hp like if he had like the most hp or the second hp in the entire game 
it would make up for these lack of stats and moves because when you think about it, he would be able to almost attack first. Yeah, almost because there's obviously we know Weiss is the fastest, and then you got hit, but hit isn't really a problem. But then you got Gogeta, so he would have the speed to back it up. He would have the defense and the HP, even though his attack power isn't that high. So even though Lightning it doesn't do as much as it should, God Blaze doesn't do as much as it should, and especially God Slicer, like I said. Because if you don't get a critical hit ratio with God Slicer, it's fucking useless. Um, I've used Go Tanks on several occasions, and I've gotten critical hits, like way more critical hits with him, with moves that don't even have a critical hit ratio, than with Zamasu by using God Slicer, which does have a high critical hit ratio. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of like the way it goes. So if you don't get a critical hit ratio using God Slicer, the move is useless. So hit stats don't... It's not really, to me, his stats start too much of a problem. But his stats combined with his ability and his move sets that are a problem. And his HP as well. Like if his HP was higher, his speed was higher, his defense was higher. It would make up for all this lack of attack power and lack of move set in a way. But I hope you guys... Wait, no, I'm not going to end it yet. I still got something else to tell. Um, let me find it. There we go. So I'm going to load up my third save. And this is kind of like a throwback. So for all of you beginners out there, these are some people that I think you should have. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is what I call the cheat card, like the cheat fighter. When this game first came out in like the first and second update, I want to tell you right now, this was the GOAT. And he still is the GOAT. If you are a beginner and you want to get through the game fairly easy, I don't know about now, but if you want to get through the game and the gym's very, very, very easy, use Goku. Pick Goku. I'm telling you. Goku is the way to success. That's why a lot of people, they pick Vegeta and Ultimate Gohan because Super Saiyan 3 Goku is just the GOAT. And Goku, period, was just too fucking powerful. And he would basically just destroy everybody. So Goku was the cheat card. Now, obviously, when you get to the champion, you realize that he ain't going to be the one that's going to, you know, save you. But he's still the GOAT regardless. Like, he gets you there fairly easy. Like, I'm telling you, with Goku, you can go through this game in, like, an hour or two. I'm telling you. it's I, I, well, I don't know about now, but I don't think he made the gym shit harder. I, I still think it's the same way. So, he can still get you through this game fairly fucking easy. Um, Ozaru, before he even got golden... Ozaru was the GOAT, like, in defense. Like, his defense may not seem like it when you get him to that level, but he used to tank the fuck out of my attacks. Like, I'm telling you, I had to use Gogeta in order to kill him. Like, Super Saiyan 4, he could tank some of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's hits. Like, in some cases, like, I think when before I got to, like, level 75 or 72, I think it was, he would be able to tank my attack down to the littlest HP. I would have to use two attacks. Or I would have to use power burst before, like, um, I actually attacked. And he was able to tank my fucking hits like it was, you know, I ain't gonna say like it was nothing, but he was able to tank my hits like you would think Big Bang Kamehameha would one shot in Ozaru even at, like, I think, I think it was, like, level 70 to where, like, Ozaru could not one shot, like, he could not, like, survive Big Bang Kamehameha no more without the power burst. I think it was level 70 or, like, level 72 where he couldn't do it. But Ozaru is the GOAT of defense. So for anybody that's a beginner, I recommend you get a, a stone. Well, it's in this game, it's not called a moonstone. But I forgot what they call it in this game. Um, Damn. I forgot what they call it. But you'll see. It's basically like the equivalent to a moonstone from Pokemon in this game. And you need to evolve somebody into Ozaru. You need to. I'm telling you. You need to. He is the GOAT of defense. I'm telling you. He will be able to defend against almost any attack. Now, although his moveset isn't all that quite good. I mean, he does have Ozaro Beam later on. But but still, like I said, when it comes to defending, you need that tank on your team. And Ozaro is the perfect person. Piccolo 2 is actually, even though his stats don't look as great, he can actually do a pretty good amount of damage. And he heals upon switching out. As well as he has the healer move and the special beam cannon. As well as hyper mode and hell zone grenade. Which you cannot avoid. So if you use hyper mode. And then you use like some like. the Because that's what I'm saying. It's an electric type move. So you you will have to use hyper mode. And then you have to use special beam cannon. And you can get some pretty good damage off. So even if he does fail. Like he doesn't do as much damage. 
Or like he's finna die, you can just switch him out and he'll heal. And plus he has a healing move. But that's only for beginners until you find somebody to replace him. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, I already explained in my demigod analysis video of how much power he can input. As well as tank some attacks. So he has a Super Kamameha as well as full power. So if you use full power and Super Kamameha, you can, you can do a lot of damage. I'm telling you, like you have to go to that video in order to understand what I'm talking about, because he he can he can do some stuff. So Future Trunks is somebody else that you can get. He's actually pretty useful. Like I said, I don't really use them all like that, but for somebody who needs somebody like that extra person on their team, Future Trunks would be that person that you would add. Um, so I don't have him in this save, but in the other save, it would be Go Tanks. Listen to me right now. Gold tanks, if you have 9999 coins or you or you like just just get somehow find a way to get 999 coins at the um game corner. So you need the max number of coins and you need to go there and buy gold tanks. He will solve all your problems. I'm telling you, he will solve every problem. Like if there is something missing on your team, most likely like some like defense or something like that. And even that he he basically Gold Tanks will fill that gap in. I'm telling you, Gold Tanks, if you need him, he, he will provide for you. He will fill that gap in. But that's basically all I got to say about my dream team. And just in case you guys want to see my box, I'll show you real quick. No matter of fact, I'll go on the other save. All right. So I have this. I actually had like a base form challenge that I was going to initiate. But that's going to happen at a later time. So basically, the base form challenge would be you taking like the, like certain base forms of certain characters and facing off against like strong ass people and seeing if you could beat them. But that's just for the base challenge like that you have right now. Harutagon, technically, he has that base because he's inside that little shell thing. So if you guys want the base form challenge and for me to explain the rules to it, which is something that I created. So if you want this challenge... And you want me to explain how to do it, then just comment down below and I'll, and I'll make a video about how to do the base form challenge. But these are my boxes right here. I have almost every fighter in the game. So there's one thing that I know people have been wondering. They're like, Jaylon, how the hell did you get Mewtwo? How did you get Mewtwo? And like Mewtwo, like I, I, I did a video where I fucking embarrassed Mewtwo and I feel so bad for doing it. But, you know, Mewtwo, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mewtwo, that I did that to you. Um, That key drain stuff is actually useful. I remember using the fucking, the, um, the Supernova against Mewtwo, and I had, like, no fucking PP left. I was like, God damn. Oh, that's another video I wanted to do. I wanted to do a video on, like, um, on Android 18 and Android 17, since they're supposed to be, like, the plus and minus of this game. I was going to actually make an Android team, like not, not like a full on Android team, but I was going to make like Android 17, Android 18 and other members of the team because they do have team attack and they do have that little plus and minus ability and they have lock on and key bomber and other, other kind of useful moves. But plus and minus in the original Pokemon, um, to me, they weren't completely trash, but they, they were actually good together. Like I've seen people use them as a duo and use them beautifully like they are not that bad so i wouldn't expect them to be bad in this game either if you know how to use android 18 and android 17 but individually they're not too great but together they should be something but i've already explained as i you know said so i hope you guys enjoyed this video for today this has been also gamer july here if you want to know about the base form challenge which i initiated just let me know and i will let you guys know in another video so have a great day. This has been also Gamer July here.